Smart Reef Modular Reef Blocks designed by some undergraduate engineering students last semester have been deployed. These blocks were assembled off of Hilton Head, North Myrtle Beach, and Charleston at the same time. What we'll be creating in the artificial reefs of the future is artificial reefs that look like our natural reefs. None of this would be possible without Coastal Carolina University and the brilliant scientific lead, Dr. Paul Gaze. Paul, thank you for what you do for the university and for what you do for our great state. If conditions are significantly better than anticipated, we're going to continue to build on these reefs, expanding the sensing capabilities and their applications for our modeling and other research. I actually created all of the artificial reef blocks that were used to implement and to make the artificial reef. I've been doing this project for about six to eight months and I took it all the way from start to finish and it was just a sigh of relief today. It's really cool being here and seeing it firsthand and uh, knowing that it'll grow into something bigger in the future. We've installed instrumentation buoys that are reporting waves and winds and other parameters real time. There are other uh, sensors such as water quality sensors that are measuring temperature, salinity, dissolved oxygen, those kinds of concerns. It's on and it's firing, meaning that it's sending out data. So you can see once it goes in the water, it'll be submitting data. And that data is telemetried out, publicly available websites. This data gets broadcast every hour. It's available online to uh, whoever may have use for it. These are all the stations that we have in the southeast in concert with Florida Atlantic University. So we're really looking for integrated observing capacity. We're using it for research and education and forecast models. So we're getting a much better, smarter reef, but also smarter coastal system. We're trying to get better predictive capabilities to better manage a critical resource for the state of South Carolina. Coastal Carolina really is demonstrating the value of their science. We're seeing this and applied in a way that's going to make a meaningful difference here in South Carolina and will serve as a model for states and other governmental units around the world. We're looking at it as a system, onshore, across the beach, onto the offshore. That's where the, our, our society is. That's where the, the, the system is the most complex. It's a, a great contribution, I think, but it's a huge opportunity for our students. That is the world that they're going to inherit, is how to manage this very complicated, very critical system. It's a great education and great hands-on opportunities they get at Coastal Carolina. These resources are critical to our country, to our way of life, to our economy. We've got to manage them better. It's very tough to explain all that in the classroom. By, by getting out here and, and, and having that kind of exchange, it's invaluable.